Hello Scorpio. Welcome Scorpio to your reading. This is a reading for the 28th of November through to the 5th of December. Let's see what's coming up for you. Let's take these oracle cards, the prism oracle, and let's have a look. rest so take it easy okay ghost Interesting. Let's pull some more. Strength. Okay, so the message that I was getting there was take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't make this try to fit your story if it's not your story. You need to show strength. You need to show you need to show strength in your life because of a loved one who has passed on to the other side. Could be a pet. So there are good times ahead by the looks of things. Use your creativity and think creatively. And last one, surrender. Surrender to your destiny with the exact words that I was getting. Okay. <clears throat> okay. I like it when one falls on the table with the first card out. Okay, interesting. We've got the lovers as your first card out, the central energy. Central card current energy so for some you could be missing a loved one page of cups If they were a water sign, then this message is definitely for you. But for others, this is love is coming in. Page of Cups. Messages about love. Communication about love. On its own, even without the lovers, but considering the lovers is there as well. In your foundation, you have the Seven of Wands. So if someone you want to be with isn't um, the normal type of partner that you would choose and people are trying to discourage you from that, go with your instinct. In your past position, you've got the Knight of Cups. So for anyone feeling lost and in a state of grief... I think it is because of a water sign. You 
you are being encouraged to seek new love. This is in your headspace. So this is what you are thinking about. Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups, the lovers, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. So a lot of emotional, watery energy. In your future position you have the Five of Swords. So be a little bit wary. This is what Tarot is for, to guide us. It doesn't mean we have to rule our lives by it at all. But the Five of Swords is a negative energy. <clears throat> it is known as the card of lying, cheating, stealing. But we'll know more when we clarify. That is in your future position. So maybe, news just in, maybe there are some people around you that are trying to encourage you to be with a person and, and it's not who you want to be with. They might even be saying things like, why don't you marry this? That's a nice person. Why don't you marry them? And you're thinking, no. Six of Pentacles, give and take. The Six of Pentacles is also about planting seeds in new areas of your life. Just seeing what grows, trying a few different things at once. Okay, we've got the Knight of Pentacles here. So this is the slowest moving knight. This is in your environment position. So I think you have been encouraged to take something steadily. I said that didn't right at the beginning. I said, take it easy. You are being encouraged to take it easy. Queen of Pentacles, just after what I've said, that means spending some time at home. Also, the Queen of Pentacles is about resourcefulness. In your future position, sorry, your outcome, work so this is why you're being encouraged to rest and take it easy during this reading because there is going to be a situation where you are going to have to put a lot of energy into some work but don't worry about that right now ah we've done that deck let's clarify Okay, I was kind of getting this feeling. This is on the lovers, this is clarifying the lovers. It is the Ten of Swords. So try not to, obviously, there is a time for grieving over the loss of someone, something. But, um, I mean, for some, I am, maybe just for one, I am getting that that is a message about a past person. But for others, that is just a relationship being over. Could, could have been with the Libra. We have the Justice card next. Wow, that wants to be seen. Wow, the Knight of Pentacles wants to be seen again. 
okay, this Three of Cups was just about being sociable and also watching out for gossip, not being a gossip or just watching out for people gossiping in general. It's with the Seven of Wands. So if you're in a social situation and people are kind of patronising you, talking down to you, don't allow that. Stick up for yourself. Clarifying the Knight of Cups, we've got the Knight of Pentacles. The slowest moving knight in the deck. But this guy is thinking, what am I going to plant in that field behind me that's just been ploughed? And that one pentacle in his hand is representing a seed. But with two knights in your past, that is... That is, things were happening very, very quickly and there was a lot of movement. So that's why you're being asked to just um, calm down and take a break. Ace of Cups with the Knight of Swords. <laughs> so considering it's the Ace of Cups, we've had the Page of Cups. So... New love is coming in fast, but there is a clearing of the energy. I am getting the word cleansing. A cleansing of the energy from any past people, past lovers. With the Five of Swords, another knight. The Knight of Cups. That is the very card of love coming in. Especially when it's right next to the Page of Cups. Um, hello? Thank you. That is the knight in shining armour. The Knight of Cups. So you've got so many horses. You have got five. Now that, that's quite a lot. So for some, there is definitely a, manager, a message of getting on with things. Horses in the tarot also mean universal assistance. Assistance from the universe. the six of pentacles the two of pentacles making eight pentacles and considering that is your outcome card the eight of pentacles there is definitely a message of work here maybe there's a new job coming in that you're going to love maybe the new lover leads to a new job i often think the two things are connected Like you could read it through these oracle cards right at the beginning and say because of a past person who has been laid to rest you have shown strength in overcoming this maybe it's taken a long time abundance is coming in and the opportunity for creativity and being in the state of allowing Nine of Cups, make a wish. The Nine of Cups has been coming out quite a bit this week. So, considering this is the second time the Seven of Wands has come out, you are being encouraged to stick up for yourself. Stick up for yourself in money situations, stick up for yourself in the way you want to have your environment you know if you want the sofa over there and someone else wants the sofa over here put the sofa over there and you've got the king of swords thinking before acting
thinking about the repercussions and consequences of what you say before you say it. Showing leadership, being your own guru, being your own psychologist, being your own wise counsel. Wow. The wheel of fortune on the eight of pentacles at the end. So I think good luck in work is definitely coming in with those two cards in your outcome. Okay, let's pull you a power of love activation card. Priorities. You understand the paramount importance of manifesting love in all situations. You understand the paramount importance of manifesting love in all situations. Individuality. You leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. You leave your unique stamp of love on everything you do. Past. There was a big message about something in the past. Remember what I said. Through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space. That is summing up the reading. Through the power of love, you release any stagnant situations or energy in order to transform your heart space. Let's pull you an Angel of Light Oracle. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, well, these ones fell. This one wanted to come out, and then these two fell at the end. Let's, let's see how we go. Okay, so we, we do have three. Communication. The angels remind you that being spiritual is about being genuine and honest. When you speak from the heart, others feel the resonance of truth and trust you. Talk positively. Focus on the good in life and you will feel happier and healthier. Communication is a two-way process. Listen with interest and respond openly. This will improve all relationships. Communicate constantly with source using prayer, which is asking, and meditation, which is listening. Always keep the channels of communication open. Be a bridge to others' hearts and minds. Ask your angel to step into your aura and communicate in a higher way through you. The affirmation with this card is, I communicate clearly. You communicate clearly. Mercy. To develop the quality of mercy, forgive yourself and everyone around you. Be magnanimous. See the good in others and give them the benefit of the doubt. Open up to compassion, but most of all, access the wisdom within that recognises the divine in every creature. When you temper your attitude to others with mercy, you offer them grace. You spread much light, joy and freedom and empower others to find the good in themselves. Choosing this card may mean that the angels of mercy are offering you release from your pain or difficulties. Accept it graciously. The affirmation with this card is, I am merciful. You are merciful. Honesty. Angel wisdom reminds you that your every thought, word, emotion and action is reflected in your aura. When you are honest, your aura is crystal clear. Everyone knows where they are with you and feels totally safe. The angels suggest that you look within and purify any murky thoughts and feelings. When you are totally honest with yourself, you behave with integrity and dare to be open. For there is nothing to hide. People respect and trust you. As you radiate a resonance of honesty, people respond to you with, the openness and, with openness and honesty in their turn. The affirmation for this card is, I am honest in thought, word and deed. You are honest in thought, word and deed. Okay, thank you very much for being here. Don't forget to check your moon and rising sign. Take care. And God bless.